YouTube, YouTube, what it do? Lil Petty, back at you guys with another stock market episode. Today's episode is a live stock market episode. The markets are trading right now. We're giving you guys an update. So we got a lot to talk about, so stay tuned. All right, so first, we're going to be talking about what's going on in the market. So as you can see, as today, right now, the spider is basically, we're at some resistance. And I want to point out um, in my, if you come to my website, you guys, links in the description, check out my website. I post my watch list. I go over, basically right now, I've been just posting my watch list, but sometimes I give articles, just updates with all options trading. So boom. This is my watch list. We're looking at these stocks right here, but I want to take right here is what we're going to look at. So the markets have been bullish. The markets can still push up, but being very cautious in these areas. IWM, IWM is the lead indicator. All right, so we're going to go back to the charts, and we're going to zoom out so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So the markets right now, we are approaching almost all-time highs. So all-time highs are up here. We had this massive uptrend, and now we're kind of looking for a topish area. Not saying we're trying to predict the top, but the risk to reward to go long is is not is is not getting. It's it's starting to come down. We want to see a pullback and then may possibly go up. So with this run that we've been getting right now, we're either going to be pulling back. So we're just being cautious in this area. So, with that being said. Today, we were kind of coming into the markets looking to not go short, but just see what our setups were giving us. And as you see, we kind of got the gap up and the gap fade. So today was basically wait for the top and then we're going to sell, at, we're going to buy puts and then write it down. Now, in this video, I want to talk about discipline because today I woke up, I woke up late today in the markets and if I wasn't disciplined, this was the trade. I had my so we're gonna go back to my notes. Boeing, after hour movement could move the stock either way. Now I like to play, I like to trade the morning breakout trades. So in the morning, this was a a a go. This is basically a a twenty six cross, twelve twenty six cross to the upside. Now I woke up late, so when I was looking at the stock go up on the one minute chart. I almost wanted to pull I almost wanted to pull the trigger on this one minute pullback, but the stock had already ran up so much I just didn't see the the reward and I, if I was on my A game in the morning, I would have I would have hit it around here. I would have hit it probably right here on this candle right here, but I wasn't on my A game. So I just had to, you know, let it just go. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just have to let the stock go and obviously Boeing is still running up. But I didn't trade it today. I just let it go because, you know, the opportunity, you have to stay disciplined. If you wake up and you're late to the markets and you're not ready to go, then you should not take the trade because you're more than likely going to lose on the trade. So that's just um, what I did today. I stayed disciplined. I waited for a setup and I'm going to show you guys the trade that I did take today. I took a trade at SPX. So now, as you guys can see, these are my uh, this, the candles are where I got filled and where I got in and I got out. I can show you guys right here. Oops, this is Boeing. Yeah, SPX. My fills are right here. SPX. I got in right here, and then I got out. Now, so. Why did I wait to get up in this area? Because like I said, we were waiting to get to a topish area. We got the alert right here, boom, and then we ended up I ended up taking my profit down here. I wanted to take profits, so I set my risk up here. I set my risk basically up here and my reward was down here. So as you can see, that's a 1 to 5. That's a great trade. So I waited, I was patient. I love to tra trade the breakout trades in the morning, but I just waited for basically the crossover to the downside. So that was what we did on that. And then um, we ended up taking some more trades, but I wanna focus on um, talking about sticking to your plan. 
So boom, if I if I stuck to my plan, my risk was up here. We obviously didn't get up there, and my reward was down here, low of day. We ended up breaking the low of day, took profits. So you stick to your plan, you execute on your trades, and that is how you be. That is how you become successful. Um, also, I want to talk about finding opportunities because in the market, there's always opportunities, and you should never feel like you're missing out on oppor on opportunity. So if you wait and let the opportunity come to you, that is when you're going to be successful. When you're chasing, that's when you're not going to be successful. So I'm going to talk about another trade I took today on Tesla. Tesla, boom, uh, monitor. We got filled at 912, and yeah, we bought two of them. We, we bought the first one at 280, bought the second one at 250, and then we sold them at 333. So we're gonna come show you the chart on Tesla. Tesla came down right here. We were waiting for the dip buy. We bought the first ones right around here and then I bought the next one right here and I ended up selling right around here for a profit. Why did I see? Because the opportunity today, Tesla was on my watch list to for a breakout trade. If you see in the morning, there was this huge gap. So when there's huge gaps in the morning, these are kind of setups that I like to trade, but obviously, like I said, I wasn't prepared in the morning. I missed the breakout trade. Tesla and Boeing were the were the breakout trades that I missed. So I had to stay disciplined. I had to be patient and I had to wait and find the opportunity. And when the opportunity came to me, that's when I took the trade. And that's how you, you have to be disciplined. I've learned that because I've lost money by not being disciplined. So I just wanted to put that out there. When you're disciplined and you wait for opportunities to come to you, they will appear to them. They will come. You're not going to be chasing. You're trying to chase. You're trying to chase the stock market and the stock market's going to get you. So like I said, I could have probably did the puts, but like I said, I wanted to go long on Tesla today. I wanted to go short on SPY. SPY has been selling off. So I waited for my opportunity and I took my profit. And that's options trading. So we're going to go. I want to show you the chart real quick too. Of the of the Tesla trade, the option chain. Now we're gonna go to. I gotta pull up the options chat tablet real quick because we played the two. We came to the we came to the we came to the weekly. We played the weekly and we played the two seventy calls. Now. to the one day one minute and as you can see look at this huge drop off so if you were holding these calls overnight you got you lost you lost a lot of money these were 20 these were two thousand almost three thousand dollars and they woke up you had a hundred dollars so that's why uh, swing trading options can, it can be very risky especially when you're holding a, a healthy bag so um, yeah we ended up getting these we bought them we bought first right here and then it came down, I bought the dip, and then I sold up here. I had my order set, I, I had my order set, I got filled, and yeah. So you set up your opportunities, you follow your plan, you execute, and yeah, so that's gonna be the video for today. Um, I kinda wanna talk about what's going on in the market real quick because I didn't really go over everything. So let's go over, um, Let's go to the market watch real quick, because as you can see right now, like healthcare and the Dow Jones, like what's what's going on in the market? So as right now, the market looks like it's kind of picking back up. Boeing is green. We have a little bit of green in the Dow. The Nasdaq information technology is pulling back the markets. Tesla, Amazon, Google and Facebook are doing pretty good today. And then the Russell's informational technology and healthcare. So financials are doing pretty good today. So this is what we do. We just look at everything to, to try to see what's going on in the market and get an edge. Because when you have an edge in trading, you can basically, you need an edge in trading. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we'll be back for another options episode. You guys have a good day. And I hope you guys are green. So have a good one.